Yes, sir, Mr. President. How are you? You know, Tom Griscom. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure. And they're all going to stay. They're all going to stay except Ken. And I'm escaping. And he's going to jump ship. Senator General, your transition, too. That's right. You're the one that brought us in. That's right. He came over with uh, his shirt sleeves on Friday afternoon. <laughs> and we didn't know anything about it, Tommy and I, until you announced it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, everybody looked at me. Like A.B. Cole has announced the White House Council while he's in Mexico. <laughs> exactly. Well, while he's in Canada. I think we will see you in Did you get that? Did you a picture of the President and Jim? Sure. Jim is going to be before yes. us. There we go. Mr. President, tomorrow I'm going to, or the next day, I'm going to go out and uh, do something you like, which is saw wood. Hey, yes. I want to <laughs> in a few days, I'm there myself. <laughs> Let me tell you about this one. He was my chief of staff in the Senate, and he really, really did a superb job. But the picture that he just had made, with Jim Cannon and Ronald Reagan, no doubt, will go up right beside the picture of Jim Cannon and Jerry Ford, and beside the picture of Jim Cannon and Nelson Rockefeller. And beside one of you and me. And you are a man of all seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank he you. Served, he served three presidents now. That is correct. That is correct. Not the three of us? We can do that. There we are. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, you're coming back down there. Should yes, sir. Another meeting there. See you later, Mr. President. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. No, no. Thank you, Lord. You will wait one second. I think we a few souvenirs here. This is my wife, Lily. Actually, we had the pleasure to meet you 10, 15 years ago in Taiwan when you were representing President no, Nixon. No, no, no. Yes. You were the, yes, you were the governor of California. Yes. That's right. That's right. Nice. This is my daughter, Alicia. Hello there. Nice to see you. I think we ought to get a family picture here. All right. All right. Uh, how do I do it? Why don't you go on the other side of the president? Should we do that? Well, well, nice face. Right. You with the pretty girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, Thank you. Well, listen, just, I know it, I know the change is going to be quite drastic between the two places, and I'm grateful to you for doing it. You know, to Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You, uh, when you were governor, you left behind one of the greatest gifts I ever had in my life. 
case of California wine. <laughs> <laughs> and a delightful collection of nuts. <laughs> I've been plugging their wine for years. So we look forward for a return visit, but you never made it. <laughs> oh, well, I remember that. That's uh, quite a little country they've got there. They've built it up out of nothing. We'll try and do the same for Burma. All right. Thank you, oh. sir. It was very Thank kind. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Our best to Mrs. Reagan. I shall. Or John Manjo. Yes, hello. President, how are you, sir? Good time. Can I introduce my wife? Hello, Good afternoon. Good yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Welcome back, though. Uh, uh, I'm not just trying to get a family picture. Oh, this way? Yes. Which, okay. yes. All right. You must have had lots of practice in Canada and well, still can well, smile, well. so I think. <laughs> I have Excellent. to make, make a thank you, Mr. President, to you. Years ago, when I was doing Indonesia visit of President Suharto, our son was then as now our great miraculous. And at the dance that evening, I asked you to sign. All right? And you didn't just sign it, you wrote a note to it. I wrote. And that has been taken. That's your university. Well, so it everybody still, has become a Republican from there. So it is still <laughs> very much with us, and I remember that with great uh, appreciation, how kind you were in the midst of this good evening. Well, it's a relief to do, but I know that what you've done as Gaston's deputy, and I know what you can do for us now in, in Malaysia. Well, I thank you very much. Thank you, thank you sir. It's wonderful. Uh, we're glad you sent Gaston over to us, but I'm sure you must miss him over here. He's a wonderful man. Well, wait one second. Just oh. a couple of souvenirs. Oh, thank you. Oh, I let you forgive us. Thank you, sir. Ooh, thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 for receiving us and well, not so Thank you. the rest of the time. Thank you. for what you. Thank 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 you. This is my wife, Mary. Mr. President, Hello, nice to see you. see you. This is my father. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. My mother-in-law, General Henry. Nice to see you. And my father-in-law, Fred. Nice to see you. You ought to get a family picture. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> Come on out here. Yes. Thank you. 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 Some hazardous, hazardous duties before, and uh, I hope this one can be a little more peaceful. I hope so, sir. What I'm saying, I can make sure. Uh, we met once before when I was a legislative assistant for Peter Dunn. We uh, came up to the hill back in 75, 76, and spoke, spoke at a farewell luncheon for H.I. Brewer. And you may or may not remember that. I do remember that. Tim and Dominic introduced us then. So, uh, H.R. had been a news commentator, but I was a sports administrator. He gave a tremendous speech. It was a farewell luncheon over the house. He gave a tremendous speech. Well, listen, just a few mementos so that you can guess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. I must have some keys someplace. He has a key. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. I'm honored to be able to represent you over here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm the one that writes the letters to you and gives you the information. Yes. 
Why don't we move over here a little bit and have family picture? Okay. I'm going to take this off. Yeah. I guess you can move over to the front, won't you? I'll send. What? Yeah. Why don't you come over on the other side? Okay. souvenirs here. Old store stuff still there, but it's falling down. Oh, still in the map. I remember, I think, treat us kids was every day once. We had a bottle of strawberry pie. That's about it. Yeah. Little treats, personality for that. This is where in fact I learned that you could take you could use up the profit just by giving away one bottle free to buy a profit for a whole case. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can now. It's not much different. Yeah. You know. I've got kids that wanted to say hello to you. Oh, I have got a note for you. Note for you. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, Southern Doctor. Yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> I can't use these things, that's why I got this contraption. The guy done surgery on my knee, and uh, some doctor, that I believe that somebody here was under him or something, I told him to write it out. And you can't read and that right? I don't know if you can read that. I couldn't read it. <laughs> yeah, this is a doctor's writing. I forgot it. Oh yes, the McKenzie, that was my football coach in college. Oh. And uh, yeah, he he, um, he fell recently, but he's 92 years old, and he is still there, not head coach anymore, but coach of the wide receivers, 92. 92. Out on the field coaching football. Oh, boy. And then he had an accident, he fell, and the uh, doctor, you know, <laughs> I'll be done. Yeah, he done surgery on my knee a couple of weeks ago. Well, he, I told him that we were coming here and hoping to see you. I said, we weren't sure whether he'd be able to. I said, well, you were leaving a message for me. So he started telling me, I said, you better write that down. Because <laughs> I knew I wouldn't remember it all. Well, I was supposed to tell you hello for the rest of our kids. Our youngest boy is fairly sent him a nice eight by 10 picture autograph to the end. Oh, he just loves that picture. That's it, right? You're right. And of course, Jane talked to you once. How many years ago for his folks? That was the 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. You called at our house and congratulated him on the telephone. Yeah. And that was when you called him. I didn't believe it was you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's been looking for you ever since. I guess you must have told her you're going to drive by or stop by sometime. She's been looking for you ever since. <laughs> But I, I told her, I said, well, I said, hey, man, your brother, she's sure got more to do than that. You like all this, do you? Well, I have to tell you, <coughs> I have a feeling you're doing something useful. Yeah. 
Oh, that's right, too. Yeah. That's the only consolation you get out of that. Yeah. Make speeches about things that were, I thought were wrong and all of that. But <laughs> now at least have a chance to deal with it. Yeah, yeah right. right. It's, it's right. a little different. It's pretty rewarding. Mm -hmm. And how's Nancy doing? Just fine. Good. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Government, you know that? Well, you know, the government gets an employee free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on salary, but I look at that schedule her sometimes. And uh, all of a sudden, she'll say, tomorrow, I'm going to New York. What are you going to Well, there's this or that. But the <laughs> okay. You've got a wife and you haven't got yeah. a wife. <laughs> well, listen, I know I've got to move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we realize that. Oh, we sure, so you yeah. sure did appreciate seeing you. I remember right back when you used to send me stuff out of the, when you were in the movies. What, what? You used to send me stuff when you were in the movies, pictures and belts and stuff out of there. I didn't know what you were at. Oh, you still? You still? Yeah. yeah, I still got that. His mother's got drawers and boxes and books. And you're telling me about not believing that it was me. So we got to the governor. Sometimes I'd get a letter or something and someone would drop off. By letter, I'd call. And several times, I'd call and the voice would be other and say hello. And I'd say hello, this is Ronald Reagan. Yeah, and I'm Betty Davis. <laughs> I almost told you that when you called that time. And I, yeah. I said, yeah, so, you know. Yeah, nobody really thinks, I know people at work, because they, you know. she done that without us knowing it. We didn't know that she had written to you that time. And then she gave you our telephone number and so on, and then you called, and she said, for Mrs. Walters, well, they just give it to me, you know. And I started talking to you, and you said, yeah, well, this is Ronald Reagan. Right. <laughs> he's, he's a busy man, so we'll leave you alone. Thank you for what we got. Well, listen, good to see you. Nice to see you. Took a lot to get in here, but we didn't. See if we can get out now while we got out. Let's turn the door. Thank you again. Yeah.